I'm Dr. Justine Lee, and I'm an emergency critical care veterinary specialist and toxicologist, and I work at the Animal Emergency and Referral Center of Minnesota. All right, let's put her in sternal. So as a board certified emergency critical care specialist and toxicologist, what I love about my job is that every day is different. I don't traditionally have appointments. I see anything that's gonna walk in just like in a human ER. So it may be a trauma case, it could be a case that has heat stroke, a dog that may have underlying cancer. So what I love about my job is just the variety in what I'm gonna see. Low stress, and then somebody move that rabbit. One of the things I love about working at Animal Emergency and Referral Center in Minnesota is that I'm surrounded by experts in the field. Not only our veterinary technicians, but other board certified veterinary specialists. So if I have a fracture case that comes in, it has a broken leg, I can go immediately and talk to the surgeon to find out what the best plan is to fix that dog. Maybe it's a dog or a cat that comes in with fluid in the lungs from congestive heart failure. I can literally just go down the hallway and talk to the cardiologist to get an ultrasound of the heart. So it's a great way of being able to have a team approach to help fix a dog or a cat. Hey Sam, when you get a chance, will you drop 0.01 mg per kg of glyco? At Animal Emergency and Referral Center in Minnesota, we actually round with the other doctors three times a day. So we're literally at the side of the animal's cage talking about that patient so we know what tests we still need to do, what the plan is for the day, when the pet owners are coming to visit, and that way we can make sure that we take really good care of that dog or that cat. You can give us a call back. Just wanted to see if you guys were still picking her up today. When a dog or cat comes in through Animal Emergency and Referral Center in Minnesota's door, they're treated just like if a human walked into a human ER. So we're gonna triage them right away. And the fancy interpretation of that means sorting of the masses. In other words, being able to find out which dog or cat is stable versus which dog or cat is really sick. We're looking at heart rate, how well they're breathing, what their lungs sound like, whether or not they're shocky or their blood pressure is low, and when we triage and evaluate them really quickly, it helps us determine how quickly we need to move to stabilize that dog or cat. In the emergency room, we use a lot of fluid therapy. And the main reason why is we see a lot of sick dogs and cats. And the best way to be able to stabilize them is to give them fluids. So most of the time, I'm gonna put an IV catheter directly into their vein, and that way we can give water and salt directly through that IV catheter, and that'll help stabilize them, it'll help increase their blood pressure, and it'll treat the shock. So it's a great way of being able to treat really sick dogs and cats. What I love about being an emergency veterinarian is being able to save lives. I know that I'm so attached to my dog and cat, I want to be able to provide that same quality of care to pet owners out there 24 hours a day when their veterinarian may be closed. As a board certified emergency critical care specialist, what I love about my job is I know anything can walk through the door and I can help save that dog or cat's life. As an emergency specialist, I know I have to be a jack of all trades. In other words, I have to be a detective to find out what's going on in that dog or cat that can't talk to me. Using my physical exam, blood work, x-rays, ultrasound, or even life-saving surgery, it allows me to be able to work up a dog or cat and help save its life 24 hours a day.